hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python so let's get started so guys in today's video we'll be making one cool profile command in discord.py so let's right get into it So guys, this is one more cog I have created, which is information.py and here is the define circle function, which I explained briefly in my PIL video of Python full stack course for beginners link in the description. You can check that out. And these uh, other stuff is just the basic defining the class, giving it a description and just a setup function, like uh, very similar to the other cogs, like you can see. So let's create a profile function, provide my decorator commands.command. You can provide one aliases if you want to. I will just say async dev profile, my self parameter, my CTX, my member object. So member object will be necessary. Like let's say you want the profile of yours or maybe of some other member. Then you will say profile member and you know you have to mention the member or you have to just pass the member object. So I'll say discard.member. So this will just denote the type and by default it will be none so if the user does not provide the member then the member will be none so i'll say if member basically if not member so if not member means that the user didn't provide the parameter then the member object is none so if not member means yes we are going right way then we'll just say member is equal to ctx.authors so what this means is like if you say dot profile and you don't mention any member then what this will do is it will just you know show the profile of yours and if you uh, mention a member then it will show the profile of that specific member now we need to fetch some uh, couple a couple full of stuff now we are not doing the pil stuff right now so i'll just say my name is equal to my member dot name not display name just name or well, basically not even name i guess string would be better so what the string will provide is the string will give us basically pass us the member name and its discriminator like let's say code stacks discriminator which is triple zero one and in between a hashtag so it will just pass us that next will be our display name so i'll say display uh, basically nick so nick is just the display name you know so i can say member dot display name now my third parameter will be id of the member so what i'll say is i'll say id in which the i is uppercase and d is the lowercase so that it doesn't collide with any other variable so id will be my string of my member dot id so why i'm making it string because in order to you know paste this in uh, through pillar module we need to you know convert it into a string next will be the status of the uh, member so i'll just define status and this will be just be my member dot status and i'll just convert it into string and then uppercase like this will return us d and let's say i'm on do not disturb then it will just return d and d now i'll just convert it to uppercase it's your choice you can do it accordingly now i'll create two more variables which will be created at and joined at so my created at will be member dot created at dot s trf time so i'll provide some parameters here so i'll just say a module is a my module is b and then a line breaker then my module is b then my module is y i'll just copy it there is not not much different in created at and joined at and i'll just say joined at this is just my another variable and this will be joined at yeah so we have the created at and joined at now there is chances that you already have economy system or leveling system so for that i have also provided the uh, you know variables for money like your balance and your level so level and money like let's say we don't have an economy and leveling system yet in this bot so for now i won't be able to fetch it so i'll just provide a sample you know code like um let's say my money will be something like this this and my level will be something like 99 or 100 maybe so if you don't have one system yet and you're following up with this tutorial then you can you can just you know put 
this rather like this high and in the future videos when we'll make one leveling an economy system then you can you know replace the stuff so for now you can do this maybe so i'll just leave it like 100 for now now we haven't done any pil stuff yet now let's start with pil so basically as you can see i have one ttf file which is just the font file and i have one bg.png and base.png so if i open my base.png so this is just uh, made in photoshop as you can see this area is uh, transparent and this is the place for my pfp profile picture of the user this is the place for name so it is the placeholder and i have some stuff here so we'll be filling the information in here with pil and pasting the images now why is this area empty this is just like the banner we have in discord like we have banner so we can place a banner here and we can give user the choice to have you know certain images to be put here so for that i have one bg.png as you can see this area in this bg.png is empty and this area is filled and in my base.png as you can see this area is empty and this is filled so the reason to do this was i'll be pasting the base.png onto this image and if you want to change the you know image then i have provided several images in a github repository link in the description you can check that out as well so you can download other images as well exactly through this and we'll be following up the method to how to do this and i've provided the link of this template as well and we have one font file so this font is uh, the one which i've used for this you can download this font and i've given the link of this font as well in the description now what we we'll do is we open our base image and bg.png so what i'll say is my base base okay and my image just image and make sure to import all of them and pip install pil basically pip install pillow if you need to install this and you haven't used it yet so you can just do that in terminal and then you can say image dot open and you'll have to provide the path so my path is since it is in the same directory i can say base dot png i can convert it into rgba okay so i've got my base dot png now i'll get my background so you can you know maybe store the data regarding background like uh, if the user want to set a specific background then you can maybe store the data in a json file or in databases so i have a made video for working with json files and how to work with postgresql link in the description so you can check them out if you want the reference you know to how we can uh, store the data regarding background of each person so for now i'll be having only one background which is my bg.png so i'll just open it so i'll say image dot open and i'll pass my bg.png and i'll convert it into rgba okay now we have got both of our images now we need to get the profile of the user as well so in order to get that what we'll say is i'll say um my pfp is equal to my member dot avatar url as so avatar url as and we'll set size is equal to 256 now i'll say my data is equal to my bytes.io bytes.io so you, yeah i have imported it as you can see from io import bytes.io you can import it as well and i'll say bytes.io my await pfp.read yeah so i've got my data now i just need to open the image so i'll say i'll redefine my pfp and i'll say image dot open my data and i'll convert it into rgba now i have the images as well now we need to do some processing now let's say the name of the person is bigger than you know maybe it's let's say it's way too bigger and if we paste that if we paste the name of the person in the base.png then it might go over the you know end so it might go over the bounds so in order to cure that what we can say is we can say like let's say if the length of the name of the person is more than a certain length then we'll just you know cut short it so what we'll do for that is we'll say my name we'll redefine name and i'll say my name is equal to i'll just uh, make an if string and i'll say my name up to my you know 
15, 16th index more than 16 letters would not fit in that placeholder that's why 16 is the best number we can say and when we'll do this we'll do this if the length of my name is more than you know 16 and else we'll just keep it name like we won't change it if it's not bigger than 16 i'll you know make two dots as well so that user can know that this is not the complete username okay so now we'll do the same for you know nickname so i'll just say my nick is equal to i'll just copy this and i'll make it nick and for the nick i've tested that it would be 17 and also we'll paste the nick as aka like it would be also known as my nickname and if the length of my nick is more than 17 then i'll just make it a string aka my nick so this is pretty much fine you've got the variables basically we'll be showing aka you know nick like that now what we need to do is we need to define draw now if you have seen the pil tutorial then you must be knowing what is draw so i'll say image draw dot draw and I'll have to pass the image in here. So my image is my base. So I'll be drawing on my base. It is pretty much obvious why. So I'll now convert my PFP to my circular PFP. PFP, yes. And for the size, as you can see, the size by default is, you know, 215 by 215. And yes, I have made it 215 because 215 was uh, setting up as the best. But still, if you have made it uh, through my previous video, then it will be 220. So you can just make it like this. You can just provide the value yourself. So I can even remove this. It won't make any difference. I've got my circular PFP of the user now it's time to get the font so, so you can download this font or you can locate it in your system but if you want to host this board then you know locating won't help so yeah you need to get the font so i'll say my font is equal to image font and dot true type and i'll pass the location so it is uh i'll just copy the name and second parameter will be the length like uh, what is the size so I found 38 as the optimum size for the name, like the name will be the biggest. If you say in the base.png, here will be the name, here will be the aka, here will be the other stuff. So this will be the biggest. So this was 38 was optimum for here. Okay, so this will be 38. Now we need to create some other fonts as well, like for my aka font. So aka font will have you know it will be exactly the same just the difference will be i'll change the font size so optimum size for this was 30 and there will be one more font which will be sub font so sub font will be for all the items in my hair like user id status uh, money level creation joint you know so i can just paste it and i'll make it 25 now what i need to do is i just need to draw it so i'll say my draw dot text and first parameter will be the location so i'll pass some location in here then i'll pass what i need to paste so i'll just paste my name and i'll provide my font so font of my name was font which is the biggest one now i'll get the values and i'll revert after completing the code so guys i've completed the code as you can see so i have you know done previous trials with it there's no direct way to get these value it's pure you know hidden trial method this is the distance from x-axis this is the distance from y-axis i have done repetitive hidden trials method to get these values and if you are not using this image and using your own image then you'll have to do the same you'll have to do hidden trials on your own now we just need to you know paste the profile so i'll say base dot paste so i'll just paste and if you remember in order to paste a circular image and mask it properly then what we have to say is we have to pass the pfp then its location then pfp so i know the value of its location again it was 56 and 158 yes yeah now what we'll be doing is we'll get the background so this as you can see this is my background and i'll paste my base.png along with the content on this image so what i'll say is i'll just say my you know my background dot paste and i'll have to mask it as well so i'll say my base location will be zero zero because i want it to fit perfectly 
then my base because this is this will be the masking object now this is the important part this is a bit of a complicated part as well now in order to send this profile we have got the profile now, in order to send this profile into OCTX without saving the image we'll use bytes.io for that so what i'll say is i'll say with my bytes.io as my a you can make it any variable i'll say background.save so i'm not really saving the background but rather what i'm doing is i am just saving an instance of it so i'll just pass my a which is my bytes.io and second will be the format which will be png i'll save it in png format obviously and i'll make zero offset so i'll say a dot seek and i'll make the offset zero now what i'll do is i'll just say await cth dot send my profile so i'll say my file is equal to my discord dot file and i'll have to pass the image in here so i'll just say my a and you can literally put any file name just it should be png so i can maybe say abc dot png or my profile dot png it will just send the file through that name but it won't really make a difference okay so that is all now let, let's just save it and run it and check for errors like we sh there should not be any errors um okay okay the bot is running now let's see if i call the profile command let's hope for no errors and as you can see the profile comes and it looks really cool as you can see we can change the background as well and here's my code stacks triple zero one and aka code stacks because my you know nickname is not changed here we have the user id we have the status which is uppercase we have the money level creation time join time and it looks awesome literally and we can change the nickname as well like i can maybe you know change my nickname to something like hey 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 yeah okay now if i call my profile command again now as you can see it says hey 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 and two dots which implies that there are more digits but yeah we have we don't have the space to show them okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next one